Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at the uh, add or linear dodge blend mode and how it's calculated and some of the practical effects you can get from that. It is a in the lighten group and it's the direct opposite of linear burn, hence the name linear dodge, although Affinity Photo calls it add. Very, very simple calculation is that for each of the red, green and blue channels within each pixel, in the base values and the blend values are simply added up, um, which does quickly show that because any, either of them can go from 0 to 1, that the range possible is from 0 to 2. But for the result, uh, as any any colour, it can still only go from 0 to 1. So anything which goes over 1 is lost and effectively it stays at 1, which is uh, fully saturated for each of those and if red, green and blue are all done then it's all going to be white. So it would look something like this. If you've got a base layer and the bottom and it's the X direction here going from 0 to 1, black to white, and the blend is going upwards in the Y direction from 0 to 1, then you end up with a image like this. So this is way area up here we're adding up it's gone over one because it's remember it's going from 0 to 2 um, and down here the only time you're going to get black is when both of them are black because 0 plus 0 is going to be 0 um, and up here this line here is where you're adding up so for example this might be 0 0.8 and 0 0.2 and this is just tipping you into white let's have a look at the real thing and here we've got on the top layer, we've got the blend going this way. On the bottom layer, we've got the base going horizontally. And if we look at the blend mode now, if we put that on to add, we've got that same effect. But what's interesting is when we start comparing it with some of the other blend modes. So if we compare add there with screen, you can see screen is very, very similar, except that within screen, because in fact, you have an inverted multiply effect, then it is not going to go uh, above one because you've got a, a fraction times a fraction and so on. Whereas add, you can easily burn out. But the bottom half, the bottom, you, you see is very, very similar in effect. Whereas the color dodge, if we look at this, there you've got the top half is, you know, top right is very similar and exactly the same because it burns out. But with Color Dodge, the you can see the black at the left is there because in Color Dodge the blacks are retained, whereas in Add, blacks can easily be lightened up. Let's have a look at this in terms of a an actual photograph. So I'll hit Control J. Go to a blend mode and you've got this effect here of down here when you've done a duplicate blend like this you've brought up the contrast in the darker areas but the white area is burnt out. A simple way of addressing this is to go to blend ranges on the the left graph here pull down the right hand node let's do that there we go take off the linear so you can pull it like a curve and you can then adjust it so you're not getting much or anything of that burn effect but you are getting this coming back down here so what we can do as well with this is um, as an example it put in a new fill layer above here and whatever colour you put up here is going to be tried to get into here. So if I put on an add blend mode here, you can see and the thing to point and look at here is the sensitivity of it. So if I go up to green here, because you're adding 100% green to everything else, it very quickly goes extremely green. But if you bring it down back towards black, then it gets lighter and, and lighter effect until at black you're going to get just the original picture. But what it does mean is if you're using add to tint, just a tiny amount, just a tiny, tiny amount will have a significant effect, which means if you want to have a strong effect, then add is a very good way of doing it. But you can leave it there and you can also go all the way around the color wheel like that and 
give it that little bit of tint or a strong tint which I had does very well. Anyway just to finish off let's look at one more thing and uh, that is to look at the comparison of why is it related to the linear burn and base plus bend is the the add or linear dodge uh, algorithm whereas linear burn is base plus blend minus one it's kind of odd it sort of like pushes it over then pull it back but what's really going on here this is the result of this formula which you just simplify this and you get this top layer and here we've got the double inverse effect so instead of base plus blend we've got one minus base plus one minus blend so it's in the inverse um, added to the inverse and then invert it again and the inverse is this effect that if you've got this value here in red then the area up here in black that is the inverse because it's one minus the original anyway that's about enough i think and thank you very much for watching